So I'm going to click continue and we're going to go and we're going to define that target audience. So first of all, we're going to select the location. It could be United Kingdom, could be USA, could be absolutely anywhere. Then state or province, you can specify in this box and then the city and also you can specify that in that box. Also, you've got the radius or the amount of miles out you want to start targeting people. Demographics, you've got the age, you can specify that there. You can put the exact age there and sex as well. Do we want a mixed gender? Do we want just men or just women? Completely depends on whatever product or service you're trying to promote. Next is the interest. So if you're looking for someone, let's say in film, you can then narrow it down to particular genres. If it's something like events, you can again put it down to people who have recently moved or, or has a last birthday. So you can be very specific. And, and again, music, what type of uh, genre you're interested in. If you just look, you might have noticed the top right hand corner. If I put in a particular field there, it's going to bring up an estimated reach. And, and this is like just for music, all genres, 8 million people, nearly 9 million people in the UK, age 18 or older, who are interested in music and any type of music. So that's quite a broad reach, really. But if you imagine that you're specifically targeting precise individuals, that reach will go up or, or, or be more defined. It might be less, but that is your target audience and there and this area is where you actually uh, target them so I just want to show you you can switch to precise targeting so you can put in very specific interests there so you could put someone that's actually interested in SEO you can put that in there and all your different keywords and that's gonna narrow down your search even more I'll just get rid of that so below that we've got connections on Facebook and you can connect to anyone people uh, who are not fans of the page that you're trying to promote, people who are fans, and then you can have the advanced targeting. Right, so this is really important. So this is target users who are connected to. So you can put a different page that you want to connect people to. Um, maybe you're, you're trying to target people who are in photography, and maybe you're, you've got, you, you're just popping a, um, a fashion uh, page in there, or maybe a fashion event, or something like that that's related to it. And then you've got targets who are not already connected to. So you can really define these different options, and it gives you a lot of choice. So we'll scroll down, you've got interest in men or women, relationships, you've got all that there. Imagine if you're promoting, let's say, wedding gowns, you, you probably want people who are engaged in a relationship or about to get married, so you can put in different languages. Also, you can put in and specify different uh, types of individuals, so people who are maybe uh, college grads, in college, in high school, so it's very specific targeting, and different types of organisations or workplaces. Again, when you're done, click continue. And this is going to bring up the campaign pricing and schedule. So depending on where you live in the world, I'm going to put British pounds here. Um, and the territory, the time zone, um, you can give your campaign a specific name. Also, you can put in there your budget. So let's put £400. Let's put £400. You can have per day or lifetime budget. There you can specify what time you want to start running the campaign. So let's say I want to start running it tomorrow and I want to run it from, let's say, um, 9 a.m. Uh, there we go, 9 a.m. And I want to run it from 9 a.m. to, let's say, mm, maybe 6 o'clock, 6 in the evening. So we'll look for a 6 p.m. here. And then it's going to, what it's going to do is estimate based on all the keywords and all the competition that's out there what the price is per click. And this down here is where you'll find it and again you can look at the estimated reach up here just to clarify all the details and when you're happy with it you can actually review the ad and it's going to have the ad there it's going to have the name of the ad uh, it's going to have the actual audience that you're targeting the type of campaign uh, uh, cost per click and it's estimated at 45 pence per click at the lifetime budget so that's what's in the pot at the moment and the duration of the actual campaign now when you're happy you can place the order and you can go ahead now this is really powerful because it gives you fantastic analytics it gives you up-to-date information it tells you who's clicked how many impressions it, it's going to give you all the information you're going to need to to really put your message out there with your target audience now we'll be showing you some of the campaigns that we've run and some campaigns that we're going to be running in the future, um, but I'll show you that in another video. But I just wanted to kind of go over generally how this works and how you can take advantage of targeting through Facebook ads.
Thanks ever so much.